Well, good evening, folks, and welcome into Mugshots for the Pearl Pirate Coaches Show. I'm Greg Flynn, and we are joined now by the head ball coach of the Pearl Pirates. He is Justin Hunter, fresh off the practice field, and I know you had a lot of work to do. In your mind, you, there's always work to do, but... I don't know about know. fresh, you know. <laughs> I don't know about fresh, but... Well, that's why I'm sitting way yeah. over here tonight, so... <laughs> it's a good... It's, <laughs> Probably good to doing that. <laughs> but I know a lot of work goes into it, and, man, we were so close. Again, it was just a couple of plays here and there uh, that decided that game, one that we uh, lost 17-14. Yeah, and, and that's what we did. We showed a playlist to the guys today. Uh, I think we, we picked six plays on offense, five plays on defense, and I think two on special teams. So it was 13 plays, and usually you have any, you know, somewhere around there. That changes the whole outcome of the game. You don't ever know when those plays are going to happen, but, um, you know, when they do – Tell, hey, that changed the, the, everything about the game. You know, whether it's a you know missed tackle or a missed assignment or, you know, it's usually something small. You know, and that's what we tell you. You got to play hard. You got to do your job. You got to do responsibility because you never know when those plays are going to hit. And we just, you know, told them we was really good, and then we had big mistakes. You know, and the big mistakes cost us. Again. Well, and the good part is, we can put that behind us. The record zero and zero yeah, now. That's right. We talked about that's that right. a lot. That. It was just the warm-up, the preseason, right. and that's where the kids can get focused now. Yeah, I mean, you know, tell them it, it starts over basically this week, you know, and uh, we always talk about a rearview mirror being small and a front windshield being big, you know, because, you know, what's in front of you is way more important than what's behind you, you know. All of us would love to be undefeated in 4 0 right now, but we've got to, we can't worry about nothing but pedal. You know, that's the only thing we can worry about right now, and uh, I think we got that message across to them today that that is the only thing we need to worry about is, is pedal rolling into Ray Rogers on Friday night. How about we just knock the rear view mirror off, right? Yes, and, yeah, there you go. Let's just knock it who out need, of the who car. Needs that? Who they needs that, that this week anyway? We got All backup right. cameras now. I don't <laughs> need that. All right, let's take a look at the highlights. Uh, there were plenty of them for us uh, against Biloxi. It was a long road trip down there, and, well, we started off running the football great. I mean, we had now over I, 200 I, yards rushing. Yeah, I thought our running backs ran the ball extremely hard the other night. I thought we had some good holes to run through the other night. Kenji McNair, boy, he's an up and down night. He was mostly good, but just a couple of drops. But had a really had a couple solid tried to night. run with it before he caught it. Moments, you know, just a just a. And there's Markwell Lake. He's just been fantastic. He continues to rise uh, here to the end zone. He's just, he's really growing, isn't he? He is. He is. He, he's just got to learn to play every play. You know, he, he's he's one of those pretty good with the ball in his hands. He he's, gets very confused sometimes when it's not in his hand, you know, and, and again, he's just, he's getting better week to week, just like all young kids do, though. Well, and somebody was excited about being on the coaches show last week as ooh, Big this. Dog How was running this? hard. I was on third and five. I mean, like, that's a really, really, <laughs> really, really good run. Played I above him, his said, size. That needs to be on your highlight tape. That's unbelievable. And I was so happy for this. Early in the game, you get Colston Bennett his confidence back. Well, you know, you, I, I think you asked last week, and I said, you know, as soon as we need a field goal, we're going right back out there. I have the utmost confidence in him. You know, I think every time he lines up, he's going to make it. And big Ben Alexander, goodness gracious, is he growing. Gets better week by week. And then uh, here goes the, the three-headed attack. Here comes the bull, T.J. McKenzie. got to run the ball hard. Get to see it. I think that's about, what, nine yards after first contact? Yes. He can, he can squat a Buick. Well, and then, yeah, it's I wheels. We a, yeah, I think we did a good job seeing uh, what they were playing to our H back, and they were slanting to it. So there's only one guy over there. So we did a little, we just did a little in-game adjustment with our with our playside tackle or backside tackle. You see Reed; he does not come down on that guy. He goes out. There's nobody else over there. They all bought TJ. Yeah, and that's a great weapon to have to mix in uh, from time to time. A quarterback that's not scared to run it. That's right. Good catch by Shaden right here. Hands out, extended from his body. A good throw by Jack. And I love how he put that shoulder down at the end to try and get that extra yard. Shaden's one of those works really, really, really hard in the weight room. You know, I think you can see that. Here's the same play earlier. You know, we get the out call. You see Reed go out on the guy, and there's and they, nobody else out there. They bought it again, and Durr finds his way into the end zone. Uh, I just loved watching us run the football again. 200 yards uh, of rushing plus, and TJ just was – he was the bull. That's right. Well, the three backs, they're all, they're all three talented. They're just, they're so different. You know, they just, they do, they do d things differently. All right, so we knew we needed to score late, quick late. And uh, Kenji certainly did that as he, he was going kind of slow and then he just It looks like he's just kind of gliding, but he's out running, folks. I don't and think he people really the understand gear. how fast he is sometimes. 
I got nervous because he was going really slow, tentative when he first caught it. We'll get another look at it here. And then he just kicks on an afterburner. Well, the thing about him, and he's going over there playing corner most of the night and playing receiver. Like, he ain't got a lot of juice. This is in the fourth quarter. You know, just great vision by him. Who's that blocking downfield right there? It's a good job. And somehow y'all kept us on the edge of our seats as we got the ball back with an opportunity, uh, and it just wasn't going to happen as Jack just kind of yeah, gets uh, – looked like it slipped a little. Yeah, he left it inside. The one thing he was told is you got to have the ball outside. You know, if you if you go that, like the look he liked, he liked the one-on-one. -on -one. You know, not not opposed to him doing that. Uh, if he likes it, as long as he's got a reason why he liked it, uh, just when you do that, you got to keep the ball outside. Yeah. You know, and uh, I like you, it might have slipped out of his hand. Not, not real sure. Um, you know, but – Kind of ran out of time again, you know, type <laughs> thing, you know. Uh, I, thought, I thought we played really hard. I, I do. Um, and I thought we had a lot of good stuff. Like I said, just when, when, when something bad happened, you know, it, it got us. For yeah. the second straight week, just it was good, 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 really bad, you know. Yeah. And just, you know, whether it's a you know, fumble or missed tackle or, or, just, or just whatever. Uh, yeah, we big, were in the red big zone. Penalty. We drop a ball, you know, they recover it. That's right. That's um, right. It's just, Kenji McNair, wide open 20 yard. That would have been a touchdown. It's just those little tiny things. And that's just stuff we've got to get better at. And again, it goes back to those plays. You don't know when they're going to come, but there's a certain number of plays going to change the outcome of the ball game. And uh, we gotta, we got to start winning those plays. All right. Well, we'll let you go grab something to eat, cool off a little bit more, no doubt. get something <laughs> to drink. We will come in with our players segment next. We have got Jabron, Mayhem Moore, and K Beyond the Reaper Freeman. Our defense will shine coming up next. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mugshot's Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mugshot's proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map, in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot, and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out MugshotsGrillandBar.com. Come smile with Sky. Sky Family Dental of Pearl provides complete dental care for the entire family. Oral exams, cleanings, dentures, implants. Most insurance is accepted and financing is available. Call now to schedule your appointment. Come smile with Sky. Leave it up to us at Mississippi Arkansas Ag for your John Deere All Star package. The 3025E tractor plus loader, box blade, rotary cutter, and a trailer at just $349 per month. Visit agup.com for more information. I'll take one of those shovels. Oh, those shovels are lease only. But I just want to dig a hole. Well, I can sell you the sweet, sporty, compact model for cash. You wouldn't put up with this at a hardware store. Don't put up with it when you buy a car. So come to Rogers Dab Chevrolet. It's easier here. Well, welcome back into Mug Shots and the Pearl Pirate Coaches Show. I'm Greg Flynn. We are now going to step into the locker room for the players segment and welcome in two really good defensive guys right here. <laughs> Jabron Moore, number 44. KB on Freeman, number one. And he's affectionately known as the Reaper. This guy we've dubbed Mayhem because whoo, he just causes mayhem along that defensive line. It is amazing. Welcome in, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Well, it's been... Uh, it was a tough two weeks, right? Definitely. And it was a long ride home from Biloxi. So how did how's the team responding as we head back uh, now into region play? I think uh, Friday showed us a lot of leaders that we have and things that we have in the locker room. But I think we're going to tighten up as far as this week goes, definitely. KB on? We're just trying to get in at practice. Yeah, we, just, we needed some leadership, and we got that this week. It's region play, so we got to get on our horse. Get back in this. Is it really hard because we're so close? I mean, it's just a couple of plays here and there from being four and zero versus where we are. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's that just comes with uh, us being a young team. We got some things that we have to sharpen up on, but it's gonna happen definitely. You agree? Yeah, I, I agree with him. He, you sound good right there, way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is. Uh, we're gonna take a look at pedal in a little bit. Um, does it help to know that we're back to zero and zero now? Definitely, yeah. it's a it's a booster to help us know that we're gonna come in the region play. It's that was what we call preseason, but it's time to really get into playoff games now and get a spot in the playoffs. 
it's a new is, start. Is it an easy sell to know that, okay, we're starting all over now, Kavion? It's not an easy sell, but <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need some work. But it ain't going to be easy in our district. Well, no, not being easy. What I'm saying is, is it easy to, to, to reinvigorate the team to say, okay, put that all behind us. Oh, yeah. We're sure. zero and zero. What we do from this point forward determines the rest of our season. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. It, it'll put us in our mindset. It'll set us up. It'll raise our bar higher. We got to play to a high standard ball to go to go get out there and play on the ball with a. With we talked about it on the broadcast uh, Friday night. We got to see you move from safety back to your linebacker position where we saw you excel. <laughs> and yeah. you said you loved it. Yeah, yeah I love it. What, what is it that you love playing safety? Um, I safety. mean, from safety to linebacker. Safety? Um, I really just like the runs. I like coming up hitting. Uh, I like to catch picks, even though I ain't getting none yet, any yet. <laughs> but yeah, linebacker, I'm really close to the ball, so I can stop things. I got to let it go back inside from my linebacker and D-line, come back there and, and um, hit them, give them licks. So, really, I really love it. And he is the uh, the reaper because if you line somebody up, oh, yeah. watch out. I mean, if he gets a clean run at him, mm, oh, nothing good is going to happen for them. Uh, that's all I can say. And this man, Mayhem, the reason we call him Mayhem, you have some of the – you remind me of a lot of Charles Stevens uh, that was on the Pirates. You have just the strongest hands. If you get a hold of somebody and you fill that hole, they're not getting away. Yeah, um, I work a lot. I work a lot on my hands with our former player, Meatball. I got a, I got under his wing a little bit. He taught me a little move, so I just keep him in my back pocket when we go into the game. <laughs> well, and you just had this great vision for even being on the line. How do you see see the plays so well, even though there's a lot of congestion in there? Well, uh, former, I was a former linebacker, so I just read gaps really well. So it just translated to the D line. We're going to talk. We're going to show some highlights of uh, pedal uh, a little bit later on. But from what you've seen early. It looks like they can run the football now. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, dude. It looks like they have kind of a scary backfield, but not something we can't contain. And from the linebacker position, well, you're going to get to defend the pass and the run. They're not coming my way. They're not <laughs> coming back inside. They can't hit that outside. All right, I love my little quick fire. We got time for it this week. All right, favorite college? Favorite college, Oregon. Oregon. Ohio State. Ohio State. It's the first uh, Oregon we've had. I've had two Ohio States, I think, so far. All right, favorite food? Favorite food, pasta. Pasta. With sauce? Alfredo. Alfredo, <laughs> very good. American Dylan. Wings. Wings, and you're about to have some of those here tonight, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Favorite NFL team, you got one? The Ravens. The Ravens. We're Ravens. not going to talk about what happened to them oh yesterday. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys. Well, they won the yesterday, so. DC Foil on top. It was a nail biter, but they held on to win. <laughs> All right, cool. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having me. Thank Man, you. I'm telling you, let's do well against Pedal, all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. All right, that'll do it for the player segment. When we come back, we're going to talk to the offensive line coach. He is Nathaniel Worrell. And I tell you what, after 200 yards rushing the other night, he's got to be proud of his guys. So stay tuned. We'll continue in just a moment. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mugshot's Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mugshot's proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map, in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot, and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out mugshotsgrillandbar.com. At Bob Boyd Honda, we pride ourselves in getting our customers the best deals around. Usually that means when we're selling cars, but right now... Bob Boyd is in the market to buy! We're offering top dollar for pre on autos, trucks, and SUVs. Come by, talk to our dedicated team, and discover what a great time it is for Bob Boyd to buy back your used vehicle. Any make, any model. Whether you're selling or buying, at Bob Boyd Honda, you get a deal! deal.
shop, stay, dine, and play at The Connection, Mississippi's retail entertainment destination. Located at the intersection of I-20 and I-55 in Pearl. When you're ready to make a move in pirate country, contact Penny Pitts with Havard Real Estate Group in Pearl. Penny is a multi-million dollar producer and loves to help her clients find the home of their dreams. If you are a first-time home buyer or ready to upsize or downsize, she is the agent for you. Penny is a Pearl High School graduate and an avid supporter of Pirate Athletics. Make your move with the home team. That's Penny Pitts, Havard Real Estate Group. All right, folks, welcome back into Mug Shots, and we are now going to go into the assistance corner and bring in our offensive line coach. He is Nathaniel Worrell, and he's got a little somebody with him now. Nathaniel, how are you, and who is this? I'm doing good. This is my little boy, Sledge. Okay. So he's six weeks old now. And Sledge looks so peaceful. Right now. <laughs> well, you wanted to wake him up and have him get up. No, 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 we don't want him to get too excited, right? Well, I love it. Can. I can I can definitely tell that he is yours because you have the same hairdo right now. You might keep it like that too. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, as we get into talking about your guys on the offensive line, man, they it is great to watch them progressing from where we started off in the first game in the Jamboree even to where we are now. Uh, they are really blocking well. Yeah, and we, we still got a long way to go. You know, just the objects just get a little bit better every day. And, you know, and I, I think we're getting there. It's just, you know, just got to keep working. What is it that you like that, that, they, that they are doing well, that they're learning and progressing? Just showing up every day and just, just keep grinding through everything because it's not always glorious to be an offensive lineman. You know, it's quarterback gets sacked and, you know, it might be the running back's guy or anybody else and everybody else is going to say it's their fault or you know run play don't work out right and there could have been a hole on the play side running back hit backside and everything else and it's it's always going to be the offensive line's fault there so you know you know if it's a big play the running back had a great play or a big pass and you know linemen they're not going to get any glorification whatsoever so you know the big thing is is they just show up every day and they go to work well i can tell you right now that when we have four backs that combined for 200 yards, it is the line that is really doing well, for, whether it's for uh, McKenzie, for Alexander, for Big Dog, or even our mobile quarterback in Jack Durr. Well, you know, all of those guys also, they ran the ball a little bit harder too than they have been. You know, they've, they've been doing good. There's been times they've, they've made us look better than we actually are. Well, it's, it's gonna be another true test this week as we find we get into region play it all starts starts for real and pedal presents a pretty good challenge for you don't they they do it'll probably be the best defensive front we've seen all year mm. so how do you do you prepare any differently for that you know watching this the film that we have on them well we just gotta we gotta stay by our rules and just execute you know just do what we're told to do and just do our job it's interesting you've had a lot of uh different pieces like that you can move into the H back. Um, th does that help you guys out a lot with the blocking schemes too, having a good H back moving around? It does, you know, we, we've rolled in. Uh, we got Kendall Burks who plays guard also and H backs and Talon Jackson. And, you know, they can roll down and play a little tight end. We can bring Jacoby Simpson in to play tight end. Just having multiple people, you know, a little, little depth is always a good thing. Well, you're a very, you're an awesome coach. And now, but the real question is, what's it like being a dad? Well, I guess it's just like coaching football. <laughs> so I try to keep the, treat those kids at the school like they're my own. You know, some of them, you know, I kind of hey, am like a father figure or a big brother to some of them. And, you know, I'm not going to treat them any different than I would my own. I'm not going to let them slack on anything. And, you know, I'm not going to let this one's slack on anything. I just, you know, if you're going to do something, I expect you to do it to your greatest ability. Being the big guy that you are, though, is it a little intimidating when you're picking up little sledge sometimes and you're like, Ugh. At first, it was real scary just to hold him <laughs> that first time. You know, you, the wrong move, and he's so little. <laughs> you know, it was, it was very scary. It's like just cradling that football, right? Just cradle the football. I, I love to. <laughs> so it's, when I get home, it's, it's hard for me not to grab him before taking a shower. But I, 
I know I better take a shower first. Well, I love it. I mean, you've always been a big, gruff football player, a big, gruff football coach, and then it's fun to see the little twinkle in your eye when you talk about Sledge. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is Nathaniel Worrell. He is the offensive line coach. All right, when we come back, we'll bring in Coach Hunter once again, and we'll break down those pedal Panthers and see what they have in store for us. Stay with us. We continue for Mug Shots right after this. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mug Shots Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mug Shots proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map, in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out MugShotsGrillAndBar.com. Public service has always had a very special place in my heart. And, you know, to be able to do it and be a first responder as a reserve, you know, when you're not getting paid, that's just more, one of the most selfless acts you can do. I think we all have a, a responsibility to, to our, our towns and, and our, our communities. Well, for me, it's simple. I mean, when, when you say local, that's what's most important to me. Our citizens inside this county, we all care for each other and we do everything we can to help everybody out. I am Shane Fletcher with Farm Bureau and we are the home team. When accidents happen, our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge can mean less waiting and faster care. The 30 minutes or less ER service pledge at Merit Health. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24 7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. When something works this well. Paying bills? This site is so comprehensive. I do all my banking online. More time for coffee. You want to get others excited about it too. Yes, honey. They're very conscientious. And they're about helping us map out a plan for our future. It's nice to know we make a difference. It was so easy. They had lots of creative ways to help me afford the loan for the cutest car I've wanted And that a great so bank is a really important thing to have. Comprehensive, conscientious, creative, community bank like no other bank you know. All right, welcome back into Mug Shots. I'm Greg Flynn, and we are now joined once again by the head ball coach, Justin Hunter. And we're going to talk a little Petal Panthers, a team that we know pretty darn well. We and do. thank goodness they're coming up here, and we're not going back down to that horror show. Yeah, that's uh, tough to play down there sometimes. We had a little bad look there last year, oh. I'm sure. You know, we played really well until we, well, I guess we played well the whole night, but we were rocking and rolling until we had some bad breaks go our way and some injuries and stuff. and. And I'd argue that night kind of changed the direction of our of our uh, year just based on, you know, who all got hurt and kind of how emotional it was and all that kind of stuff. It was, a, it was a tough night, but uh, always tough to play them. You know, I think us and them are very similar most years. Uh, we're close in enrollment. We're close as far as how the school is made up, you know. Um, and they come in that, you know, they got a good thing going down there this year. Uh, got a good football team. Me and Coach Glenn worked together at Louisville back in 2007. Uh, I know him real well. He's a great guy. Uh, and a great football coach. So uh, it's going to be fun welcoming in Ray Rogers Friday night. Well, they come in with a 3-1 and one record, but they are fresh off a big win. Big, big win, win, a Donnybrook yeah. against Laurel, which yeah. they they beat Laurel 45-40. to 40, yeah. And we've got some uh, highlights from that game to show you just so we can get a sense of what these guys are going to look like when they come in. And ooh, I don't want to th – this linebacker, we got to stay away from number 35. Ooh. Well, you he's know, strong. He, he's unblocked, you know, so I mean, he's supposed to do that. But I tell you where they're really tough is the D-line. I think their D-line is really, really good. Uh, quarterback, here's a transfer, moved in this year. Uh, Division one guy, got a couple offers, Southern Miss, uh, South Alabama, teams like that, just a big, strong arm. Uh, they try to play with a little tempo. You know, I think they do a good job. I think they, they do a lot of different things to kind of keep you guessing. Number six is – the ball player, as you can tell right there. Oh, yeah. That's Corey Jackson, by the way, that hopefully we don't have to hear too much from on Friday night. There's their defensive line, and oof, that is yeah. number 95. Now, 95 and 90 are, are uh, both excellent football players. Uh, 91 is pretty good. 35, the linebacker you seen a while ago make that hit. He's a good football player. This guy is just a, a scat back, right? This the, is the, Ryan Poole. The running back, he has really, really good vision. Uh, makes really good cuts. Their offensive line play really well together as a unit. There's there's Del J. Uh, 
just a big, strong rascal, just, just tough to bring down. He said they're big. Yeah, great. We get a, a mobile quarterback we got to go up against, right? I, he would rather throw it. You know, he, he can run it, you know, uh, but he would rather throw the football because he has a big arm. Well, in this pool, I mean, he has just some deceptive speed oh, yeah. uh, on Takes him. Quick, choppy steps. Well, and he covers gonna, a lot of ground. Here's <laughs> going to be a touchdown pass from uh, Del J. Uh, right, into, he sends those receivers out and then just puts, finds the right one that had the space and got pretty good vision. Uh, and then we're just going to end it here with the, these two big runs by, by Poole. Again, just so deceptive. Yep. And Laurel has got a lot of team speed. And he's yeah. run away and leaving them, you know. So. We'll finish it off with one final one. And we're going to have to find a way to contain him. Don't let him, because he'll go to the outside and look at him. He's not scared to take it straight up the middle. Uh, so... I have a feeling, though, that Jabron and KB are going to have a little something to say about that if he tries to come on up that middle, right? I think they have plans to for danger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made that move. We talked to KB on about it. You made the move of bringing him back down from safety to linebacker, and he said he loved it. Yeah. Well, I, can't, I tell you about KB on. KB on is a, an ultimate team player. Uh, if we told KB on to go play nose guard, he would be all about it. You know, that's just the type of kid he is. He absolutely loves football. We actually talked about that on the way over here. He rode, they rode with me over here. Uh, just talk about how much he loves football, you know. Um, so, I mean, he's going to be good wherever we We just thought we needed him a little closer to the box. He was doing a great job at safety. Um, we just think, think in the long run, uh, moving him closer to the box, uh, letting him set the edge because he is a physical, uh, physical player, you know. Um, rolled in another 10th grader back there at safety the other night who plays extremely hard. He just, you know. The rest of them, it was game four, it was game one for him, Omarius Johnson. But he plays extremely hard, plays with a motor. We're really excited about him. So, um, like I said, though, KB is good wherever you put him at. I can assure you of that. Well, and I loved what you did the other night. It was brilliant. It, 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 when Jack Durr started to struggle and he needed to get refocused, you pulled him off, you told him to stand here next to you for a little bit and look at the game, you re-entered him, and he had that focus again. Well, you know, I mean, and it was – it, it wasn't that, like that, a big ultimate decision or anything. Right. It was just one of those things, you know. Uh, felt like we needed a little, a little different flow, I guess you could say, you know. And uh, insert Jacob. Jacob let us down there, you know. I thought he did a good job. Uh, and then Jack came back in, you know. And uh, I think on that first run, it was like a 60-yarder. Yeah. Know, the one that we showed a while ago, you know. But he's young, you know. I mean, I know you hear the word young all the time. But, I mean, you know, in, a, in an environment like that, I think he was a little shook. And it what ninth grader wouldn't be, you know? Right. So, uh, but I thought he did a good job of coming back in and handling himself well. Well, we look forward to welcoming the Pedal Panthers in Friday night to Ray Rogers Stadium. Right. Let's pack that place out and show fun. them who can be the loudest. Come support these kids. They, they deserve it. Oh. They're working our tails off. 110%. Justin, good luck to you. We'll see you, you on Friday. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that'll do it for this edition of the Pearl Pirate Coaches Show from Mugshots. We will talk to you Friday night from inside Ray Rogers Stadium. Until then, don't forget, every day is a great day to be a pirate.